Well, I can hardly believe it guys, but yes, Nvidia is actually dropping prices on the RTX 40 series, but is it enough? Let's talk about it. Okay, so when I reviewed the RX 7800 XT, I found that in terms of value, it was absolutely stomping all over the 4070 and 16 gigabyte 4060 Ti. And I think Nvidia knew that because before the 7800 XT even became available for purchase, they had already started cutting prices, specifically starting with the 16 gigabyte 4060 Ti. So I think that gives you guys an idea of just how poor the value was on that GPU specifically, but even the RTX 4070 did not stack up well against this new AMD GPU. In fact, it stacks up even worse, which is pretty shocking to see. Now, Nvidia does have their advantages when it comes to DLSS as well as ray tracing performance, but I don't consider the 16 gigabyte 4060 Ti or even 4070 to be honestly even very good ray tracing cards anyway. So sure, you might turn on maybe ray traced reflections, but beyond that, I really wouldn't recommend using much ray tracing on those cards. I think you're far better off chasing higher resolutions. Even if you could turn down some settings and maybe run some games at 4K, I think that's just a much better use of your performance than running a lower resolution at a much lower frame rate just so that you can turn more ray tracing settings on. Now, going forward into the future with stuff like DLSS 3.5 and more performance in ray tracing with the RTX 50 and eventually 60 series, I do think 70 class cards will eventually get to a point where ray tracing is very, very important, but I just don't think we're there yet. With that in mind, yeah, the AMD RX 7800 XT has been giving Nvidia a lot of trouble and Nvidia has finally responded. Not only are they cutting prices on the 16 gigabyte 4060 Ti and not not only have there been deals on stuff like the 4080 dropping, I think the lowest I've seen is 999, which is a pretty significant drop from its original outrageous MSRP of $1,200. But also now they're dropping the price of the RTX 4070. And if things continue, it's going to get to a point where their entire lineup is going to drop in price. And it is desperately needed because the RTX 40 series is grossly overpriced. And frankly, I don't think these price drops are enough. And I'm going to explain to you exactly why. So it's definitely great to see that Nvidia is dropping the prices to a little bit more reasonable of levels, but they're just not enough. I mean, the RTX... 4060 Ti 16GB dropping from 500 to 450 again is nice, but it realistically should be about $400 max, and the 4060 Ti 8GB really needs to drop to about $350 max, and if they're not at those prices, they're just simply not very competitive with AMD's cards. I mean, long gone are the days where Nvidia's drivers are vastly superior. I just find that to not be the case anymore. In fact, depending on what you do, either Nvidia or AMD's drivers could be better for you. I think they both have their issues in different areas and neither are better. So the only value add for Nvidia is, in my opinion, realistically, their better DLSS as well as frame generation support. And if you're not interested in that, then in my opinion, there's no advantages unless there's some specific CUDA or tensor workloads you do specifically need Nvidia for. So with that in mind, a drop from $600 on the RTX 4070, which was pretty ridiculous by the way, as I thought that the 3070 at $500 was already fairly expensive, but a drop from that $600 to $550, while nice, again, just isn't enough. $550 4070 versus a $500 7800 XT, which by the way, I still believe comes with a $99 Starfield game, it's just not a good matchup. The 7800 XT, not only in my performance testing, gives you more performance, especially on the 1% lows, but also you're getting more video memory. And in my experience, AMD has better display compatibility, at least for now. I'm definitely sending all my findings to Nvidia and it sounds like they're working on their drivers when it comes to display compatibility. So maybe in the near future, all that can be fixed and that can no longer be an advantage for AMD, but right now it is. So. $500 or maybe $400 if you consider the $99 Starfield to be worth that amount of money to you versus $550 for 4070 with less video memory, 12 versus 16 gigabytes on the AMD card is just not good enough. It has to at least match the price of the RX 7800 XT because I simply do not consider the 4070 to be a more premium card 
than the RX 7800 XT. And to make matters worse, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at this chart. And I think this gives you an idea of why Nvidia is dropping their prices. I also think it's very important that people see how ridiculous pricing has gotten this generation. So if you could please share this video with your friends or on Reddit or whatever, that would be highly appreciated as I just want people to not waste their money and to not be bamboozled by marketing, which seems to be going on a lot these days as these companies are desperately trying to raise their MSRPs. But anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this chart. So as you can see on screen right now, here's a chart from my five game review that I did on these cards. Now, to be fair, if you included more games, I'm sure the gap would narrow at least by some margin, but these are the five games I'm playing right now. They're also very popular games as well. And with that being said, taking a look at the chart, as you can see here in terms of price to performance, gee, I wonder why Nvidia is dropping their prices. Look how ridiculously bad this is based on their original MSRPs. Versus the 4070, that card was costing anywhere between 49 to 86% more per frame, depending on whether or not you value the free game that came with the 7800 XT. Likewise, the original price on the 4060 Ti was costing you 46 to 82% more per frame for that card. Now moving on to the new pricing, 550 and $450 for the 4070 and 16 gigabyte 4060 Ti respectively. And here on the 1% lows we're still talking about 36 to 70 percent more per frame on the 4070 and 31 to 64 percent more per frame on the 16 gigabyte 4060 ti and in my opinion that is just not good enough even if you really really value stuff like frame generation I just think they're asking way too much for these cards and there needs to be further price reductions of at least another $50. But honestly, it should be more than that because let's not forget that the GTX 970 launched at $330 in 2014. We are now at a point where they are trying to charge two, three times as much nearly for these classic cards. And I do not accept inflation as well as tariffs and other price increases as why these are so expensive. Of course, the prices are going to go up, but the prices today are ridiculous. If you take a look at an inflation calculator, $330 in 2014 should be roughly $430 today. And maybe they could get away with $450 to $480, but any more than $480 is kind of getting silly and more than $500 is absolutely ridiculous. I have no idea why Nvidia thinks they can get away with that other than maybe people are just still buying them in mass. And if that's the case, that is not good. And this is another reason why I'm making this video. We have to get the message out that this pricing is ridiculous. And there are far better options on the market, including last generation cards that are still going on sale for very good prices like the RX 6800 XT and oftentimes used 3080s on eBay can be found for very, very good prices. So buying these cards today at these prices are absolutely a huge waste of money. I mean, let's not forget guys, that Nvidia tried to charge you $900 for effectively what is a 4070 with the now renamed 4070 Ti. And realistically, the 4070 Ti is what the 4070 should have been at $500 maximum. They tried to charge you $900 for that. Absolutely ridiculous, especially considering you can get an entire console and controller and sometimes they even throw in other stuff as well for $500. In what world is charging more than $500 for a mid-range GPU because that's what the 4070 is on a 192-bit bus? In what world is charging more than $500 for that acceptable? In no world. While it is good and exciting to see that Nvidia is dropping their prices and I'm glad to see that's happening, it's just not not enough. And if you want to see better, the only thing you can do is not purchase cards that are overpriced. Now, when the 7800 XT didn't exist, yeah, the 4070 and 4090, I considered them the best cards on the market that were new today because everything else was really bad. That, that was just the whole point behind why I thought the 4070 was all right. Everything else was awful. But now that there's an alternative out there, I can no longer recommend the 4070 until the price drops much lower. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.